This is Philly Drone Tech with Tom Brunt. Thank you to our sponsors, Wistia.com, Zoho Mail, and GetFlywheel.com. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Philly Drone Tech here on the phillytech.org netcast network. I'm Tom Brunt. Well, uh, I'm going to have a bit of a shorter show for you this time. Uh, I'm going to be head down on the road again for the broadcast job. So I'm uh, getting this one in the can, as, uh, as they call it. But even though it's a bit of a shorter show, um, I have some uh, very interesting and what could be very important news in, uh, that's developing right now in uh, UAS uh, and uh, with the FAA. So let's get uh, right down to business with it. Um, Two um, U.S. Senators, uh, let's see, uh, Cory Booker, uh, New Jersey Democrat, and John uh, Hoeven, a uh, North Dakota Republican, have uh, co-sponsored a bill that they are calling the Commercial UAS Modernization Act. And what this intends to do is to kind of um, help push the FAA along in uh, an interim state while the new notice of proposed uh, rulemaking uh, are being tweaked and developed, uh, which could still take another year or two. So in the meantime, uh, what this act is supposed to do is it's supposed to um, have the FAA set up guidelines that are kind of more in line with the, the NPRM that they're, they're proposing, uh, which is, is very big news. We could see uh, very, very soon the end of the crazy um, you know, must have a full pilot's license thing and the Section 333 exemptions uh, may be a thing of the past very, very soon. Uh, let's, uh, let's go over some of the details about it. Uh, one thing it'll do is it'll create a deputy administrator position uh, whose uh, chief focus is to oversee UAS drone uh, rulemaking. A uh, specific department of the FAA just dealing with uh, drones and UAS. Within 30 days after the bill is passing, uh, commercial operators will be able to apply for an aeronautical test. Uh, we'll need liability insurance, uh, pre-flight inspection, similar to the, uh, to the, 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 the new rules that the, the FAA put out in February. Uh, the the other, uh, other rules, visual line of sight, daylight only, uh, 500 foot maximum height, get authorization from uh, air traffic control over uh, airports close by, um, all things that are already in the notice of proposed rulemaking. Um, but what's important about this is that uh, a lot of them uh, may come into effect um, very soon. Uh, what this, uh, this is supposed to be like an interim rule until the official rules are in place. This, this act will, uh, basically once this act is passed, if it's passed, uh, the FAA has 30 days to uh, get this in order and it will remain in effect until the uh, new rules uh, become law, which um, some people are placing around 2017. Uh, let's see, let's see some of the stuff that these, uh, these uh, two guys have said. Uh, Senator Booker has said, there's so much potential that can be unlocked if we lay proper framework to support innovation in unmanned aircraft systems. But right now the U.S. is failing behind other countries because we lack rules for the safe operation of commercial UAS technology. The Commercial UAS Modernization Act sets up clear and immediate rules of the road, helping to lay a foundation that will allow us to make cutting edge progress in a rapidly emerging field. Uh, Senator Hoven has said, uh, we're on the frontier of a whole new era of aviation. When remotely piloted aircraft will improve crop production, provide valuable aid for first responders, and even deliver packages to our doorstep. We need to design safe pathways for the UAS industry to deliver these benefits to consumers, and our bill through the FAA test sites does just that. Uh, speaking of the test sites, uh, the FAA is already setting up test sites, and, and part of this uh, new rule is to make sure that these uh, test sites are being optimized for um, you know, the, the best use of uh, finding out the new technology. This could help lay the groundwork for uh, the beyond line of sight, um, you know, flying or the autonomous flying, which is what uh, delivery, uh, like Amazon delivery, uh, will need uh, to have uh, autonomous, uh, allow for autonomous flights. So this, this could be like very, very good news. Um, when will 
pass, uh, if it passes. Uh, I don't know. Um, however, there is a, uh, and I'm going to leave, uh, everything will be up on my Medium site that you could, uh, you could uh, find out all the links to. Uh, there is a link to, um, it's basically like a timeline uh, that, that tells you, uh, it's a tracker of uh, what's needed with this bill. Okay, right now we're at introduced. It needs to pass the Senate, needs to pass the House, needs to go to the President to be signed, and then it will become law. So um, I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye on this to see, uh, see the progress in this. But uh, thank you to uh, Senator Booker and uh, Hoven for uh, coming up with this. Uh, it's, it's sorely needed, and I think it'll be just the thing that we need in this country to really uh, allow a commercial industry to take off. Uh, very soon, uh, real estate photography, uh, you know, crop inspection, a lot, a lot that people are already um, using it uh, for will now be able to uh, more easily uh, use it. Um, yours truly, I definitely plan on, uh, on uh, being able to uh, apply for a, a, a license or whatever they call it, operator certificate, I believe it is, um, as soon as they allow this to, to happen. So gone uh, you know, the days of uh, the Section 333 individual exemptions and the uh, pilot license requirement may be uh, very soon a, a thing of the past. So um, I'm definitely going to keep you up to date on this as uh, I get more info and as it, uh, as it progresses along uh, in, the, uh, in, in Congress. So that's, that's my big uh, story uh, for this this show and uh, I told you it was a was a big one so right now I'm going to take my normal um, sponsor break and when I come back I just have one more one story uh, for you it's um, a different uh, way of uh, uh, using drone photography so I'll see you in just a minute today's show is sponsored by Wistia Wistia is a video hosting and analytics platform that helps businesses get the most out of online video we use Wistia here at fullytech.org Flywheel, a managed WordPress hosting platform built specifically for designers and creative agencies and helps thousands of designers across the world launch projects every day. And by Soho Mail, professional low-cost email with business class features and security. Okay, welcome back. Well, I have uh, just one more story for you, and this actually came courtesy of a, of a friend of mine on, uh, on their Facebook feed. Uh, they're not, uh, not a drone enthusiast, but they were so taken back by this footage that they, uh, they wanted to share it. So it, uh, it uh, made me aware of it, and it's uh, pretty, pretty interesting uh, based on what else I'm experimenting with photography. Uh, they're called airpano.com, and uh, it says here they're a nonprofit uh, project focused on high resolution virtual tours from a bird's eye view, aka drone and helicopter. Uh, Airpano has already photographed over 200 most interesting locations on our planet and is the largest resource for 360 degree aerial panoramas in the world. There are more than 2,000 spherical panoramas on our website at the moment. And uh, one uh, thing that uh, caught my eye was this, uh, this video that they um, they did. Now it, it looks a little choppy on here. That's just my screen capture, but it's uh, it's nice and smooth when you see it. Uh, this isn't moving video. This is just uh, scrolling with uh, a 360 spherical uh, image, a very high resolution one. And uh, you can you can see here uh, different different uh, views of the world here. Uh, I'd say most of these is, uh, I'm showing you, if not all of them, um, pretty clearly shot with a drone uh, based on its angle and height. Um, and proximity to the buildings. So um, what this, uh, what, what I'm interested in with this is that uh, if you remember my last show, I, I told you that I uh, have, have a, um, a Ricoh Theta uh, 360 degree uh, spherical camera. And I'll leave a link up to you uh, again on, the, on that camera. But what I've been trying to do is figure out how to mount it to uh, Humpty over here. So um, what I came up with here, let me pick them up here. I mounted them on the back. And see, there's the 360 camera. That's it right there. Now remember, it's got two lenses, one on the top, one on the bottom. And then it stitches a 360 image uh, from it. Uh, in fact, uh, here's some uh, footage that I, uh, my test footage that I took just 
just this morning uh, with this. And uh, as you can see, uh, I mean, while it's certainly not at the same quality as the uh, Air Pano, uh, it, it has a similar kind of effect. Uh, one, one thing that's uh, things that I find kind of interesting is that it's, I, I like how it captures the propellers and the fact that if you notice you look on the back of it, it it's uh, you don't see where the camera is actually attached it, it looks like it's literally floating uh, behind the, the, the drone um, so I, I plan on exploring uh, this medium a, a little bit uh, a little bit more um, uh, as, as time goes on and allows. Uh, it, it, it worked out okay. It's a little bit, the, the craft, I'd say, vibrated a little bit um, due to, I guess, to the weight and what's hanging off the back of it. But uh, it, uh, my second attempt at, at mounting it uh, worked, out, worked out pretty good. So uh, I hope to share with you more uh, 360 uh, panoramics uh, in the future. So uh, that's, uh, I told you it was going to be a short kind of show. So that's, that's, here it is. It's it's done, folks. So um, you know, and again, uh, I'm heading out on the road uh, doing another broadcast tour. So I wanted to get this one done and uh, and uh, definitely tell you the big news with uh, the uh, the um, um, commercial uh, modernization act. Um, so um, as always, you can contact me at uh, my uh, Twitter account is um, at drone guy tom, or at um, drone guy at tebweb com. T e b w e b dot com, and uh, don't forget a good resource uh, for this program is my Medium account. Uh, you see, there's the link on the the screen there, and that'll give you links to everything I talk about. Um, there'll, there'll also be a link up there to the the entirety of the uh, new uh, Commercial Modernization Act uh, bill uh, that was submitted. So you'll get to uh, if you feel like. Um, you know, having a little bit of a long read, uh, there you go, I'll have that up there for you. Um, and uh, the one more thing I always say is that uh, if you like this uh, and other podcasts that you see on this network, uh, we could use your help. Uh, keep the, the server fans buzzing, as I, as I uh, call it. So I have a link there on a, uh, on a site uh, called uh, Patreon uh, in order to, uh, you know, donate and help us, uh, help us keep things running here for this uh, new network. And, you know, we keep adding more shows uh, that are, you know, centrific to the uh, the Philadelphia region, uh, either produced here like mine, uh, and um, and and there we go. So that's all I have for you for this uh, week, and uh, I'll be back in uh, in a couple weeks with uh, some more news. Hopefully, some uh, some good news about that uh, that new act. So I uh, hope to hear from you, and um, have a good one.